so I never thought about making a career in writing. Uh, I turned to writing the same way I turned to art because I never thought of making a career in art. I just wanted to do it. Child of the 60s, you know. Um, I think I became a little disillusioned with the art world in the 90s. It was very politically driven and I don't know. I just felt like it had nothing to do with me um, and what kinds of things I was interested in looking at, I would run all over New York City and maybe see one thing that I liked. I mean, I understood it, but it wasn't the kind of work I was interested in making. And um, I always read a lot. And I remember reading, and this would, uh, when? Uh, late 90s, I'd say, 1999. I was reading a New Yorker magazine and there was a story, a short story, and for the life of me, I've gone back and tried to figure out what it was, but I don't know. It was a short story by a woman, and I just remember it so moved me that there was like, I, I found more meaning in, in this one delicious sentence than I did in running around art galleries in, in Chelsea for two days. And I just thought, wow, there's something I, you know, and then I started thinking in terms of words. Oh, I actually, I remember now, uh, I was in, it, it, it sounds like a fake story, but this is true. I was traveling in, in uh, Turkey for the millennium with a small group of people and one of whom was a very well-known writer. Um, but I, he was a friend of a friend. I had just recently been introduced. Um, but, he, but I was in a car with one person and we were in a snowstorm and totaled the car on this mountain and went through this adventure where we got a ride in the back of a coal truck with these two guys, Ali and Aziz, we're sitting on top of the coal, and it's and we're looking at the stars out the window as we're riding down the mountain, and, and this whole adventure. And the whole time, it took five hours in the Jardin's office. They had our passports. Are you married? No, we're not married. Oh, you know. And by the time I, at the first minute, I could get a piece of paper, I wanted to start writing the experience down. I wanted to capture that sense of not just tell the story, but tell the story with whatever emotions and, and meaning that I had underneath what was happening. And I just remember scribbling, scribbling on some random small piece of paper that I had while I was in the police station and then trying to turn that into something. So, that's, that's that, and that, so that was 2000. And I just started writing like little essays and that's when I wanted to try and I thought I should take a class. And I went uh, to the Miami Book Fair and spotted Lynn Barrett sitting near the stage. And I, it, silly in my head, I thought, she looks nice. She looks like she could be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, we were in the big auditorium, you know, it wasn't like a small classroom. We were in this big auditorium. And then lo and behold, she was the one that got up to introduce people on the stage who were speaking. And so I kind of attacked her as we were leaving the hall. I'm like, I want to take a writing class. <laughs> and, and that's how I started. Uh, I, I took, a class at FIU in, uh, well, she said to me, well, we had a conversation because she lived in Boston and Miami and I was in Boston and Miami. And uh, I said, um, you know, I wanted to take a nonfiction writing class. And she, she was saying, well, you can't just do that. I'd been, I'd been trying to find where to get like, a, I'd been trying to look online for classes. And 
she said, you know, you have to take a beginning writing thing before you get admitted in this class. And I said to her, if you came up to me and said you had been writing, you had been drawing landscapes obsessively for a year and you wanted to take a landscape class, would you want to go to the beginning drawing 101? No, you'd want to go to this landscape class. She went, oh, okay, here's the name of the secretary, call her up. <laughs> and so I sort of got into Dan Wakefield's class that next semester, whenever, however they run. Uh, his nonfiction narrative class. It was, you know, not, not for graduate students. It was for undergraduates. And, um, and I submitted a piece at the end, which got chosen as the prize winner that year for the, whatever they call their awards, their award thing. They have uh, for writers, by the writers by the what? day. Writers by the day. Writers by the day. So I was chosen for the undergraduate Writers by the Bay nonfiction thing. When I had to give a reading, it was the first time I ever did a reading in my life. And everyone was like, who is that? Who's that? And uh, then I became a groupie of the, of the writing program. I never studied in the writing program, but I would go to everything, all the events, all the things, so much so that uh, one of the faculty Maybe it was Cindy Chanelli. I'm not sure. They were like, oh, you're not in the program? 